Wow, check this one out. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is a good one right there. Yes. I knew I could smell them. Look at this one, yeah. Welcome back to another video from Ron Coleman Mining here in Jesseville, Arkansas. It's a rainy day. It's March 16th, 2020. It's about 45 degrees. It should be a really good day for surface finds um, when it's rainy. It's been raining for a week here in Arkansas and it's supposed to keep raining. When it's raining, you have to walk to the mine. You can't park here in this parking lot. Because of the mud, they don't want anybody to get stuck and tear up the vehicles. Okay, here's the entrance to the mine. So you just go underneath that track hoe and you'll be at the mine. Anytime you're out digging anywhere, and if there's a sign, you need to obey the signs. Claim jumping is not good. Walking on private property isn't good. You want to make sure you always have permission where you are digging. That's what I do. Check out the size of these. And if you want a really big rock, like this one here, I'm pretty sure you just tell them. You pay them a little extra money and they'll load it for you in your trailer or your uh, Volkswagen car. Right now, you can just see how the rain has washed away all of the dirt and mud. And it's just revealing all of the courts. This is the first time I've been out here when there's nobody here. All right, found a pretty good surface find walking around. Check this one out. Nice cluster. Look at those points. Look at that point right there on the end. Oh my gosh. See if we can't wipe some of that off. Oh, that's a huge crystal, guys. Look at that several of them a nice cluster there it is cleaned with water this one has not been cleaned in acid you can see where my thumb is there's still some iron oxide and not far from that other cluster i was working in that spot right there and i pulled this one out This thing is just loaded with crystals. Look at that facet. Can't wait to see this one cleaned up. Here it is straight out of the acid bath. You can see how it just cleans up all that iron oxide. There's a little bit still right in here. You just have to soak it a little bit longer. Yeah, it turned out to be a really nice cluster. Not bad. So this tells me I'm in a pretty good spot. I got a couple of clusters with some pretty good points and they're not small points. So if I keep working this pile, it may produce with a really nice double terminated four foot long crystal. Working my way over here and I found a nice cap of a crystal really clean that thing is just i don't see any chips on it or anything any nicks or bumps that's a good one here's another good indicator not the biggest crystal but if you have these little guys, you could have some bigger ones. Yeah. 
right, I'm gonna start digging in this pile. We got a crystal. And just a little bit up from that one, we have another small crystal. So I'm gonna dig around here. It'd be nice to get a really big crystal. You can just see all of these pieces everywhere. That's a good indicator. Just little chips. And it's not just of the vein. It's not the silica, it's actually from crystals. Just got back from my safety meeting and check what I noticed right off the bat. A huge cluster. Look at this. Look at the size of this. And it's just loaded with points. That's going to go home with me. A little chipped up, but there's a lot of points in there. Look at all those. Work all that clay out. That'll be an awesome quartz cluster. And here's a really good one. Some good ones right there. Not a bad surface find. This may be a good spot to dig with that being here. Nothing really here. Dug around, just that big cluster. I think I'm gonna head back to where I was. This rake is the best tool to use at Ron Coleman. It really helps get the crystals. So let's get them dug up and all right, time to dig. This could be where the big crystal is hiding. I dug down and the clay got a little red and just nothing, nothing in it. Check out the surface find. That's a good one. I like how these crystals at Ron Coleman are just really, really high quality. All right, I'm gonna keep on digging around. All right, I worked my way back over to this pile where I started pretty much. And on the surface, I found this cluster. Isn't that one awesome? I mean, it is just loaded. Look at all these down here. All right, let's take a look at this one cleaned up. Check out all these little crystals. Wow, this piece is really cool. And this one here, where my finger is, it goes all the way across and it is re-healed on this end. We'll flip it over. A lot of sparkles on that side. All right, I'm going to try my luck over here. I noticed this right here. Check out all those crystals. Look at this one. Yeah, ow, damn. Mm, cut me. Jeez. Ah, golly, that's sharp right there. Better watch this stuff, it's razor sharp. All this has clusters in it and all that. Dang. Band-Aid, dig around here and I'll let you know when I find something good. Remember, 
Wear your gloves. Okay, I moved again and found a good surface find. Check out that facet. Alright, let's see what we got here. Come on, be a big one. Oh. Almost looks like an Arpimer. I believe it would have been if it would have completely healed on this end. Would have had an Arpimer. Sweet. This side still needed to heal. So, yeah, maybe a little ways off from an Arpimer. I was surface hunting and I spotted this one right here. Look at this. Wow. Oh, that's a good one. Got a twin. Got one right there. Nice cluster. Look at this. Here it is, cleaned in acid. Just loaded with little crystals attached to it. And it looks like this one here is double terminated. Well, it would have been. It looks like it's chipped off right there. Okay, I started where those people are walking right there. Found the clusters. I've been all over this place. And if you go back to my old video, you'll notice all this has changed. They flipped all this stuff and pushed it to the edge. And all this stuff right here that I'm standing on, pretty sure it's all fresh material. Um, let's go over here where I'm working. Check out what I, I was digging over here by this big rock. And up in there, this popped out. Oh, it's a good one. Yes. Finally. All right, I'll take it. Let's get some more of those. Wow. Ron Coleman Mining. And here this one is, all cleaned up. Not bad at all. Really nice clarity. Always like to check the inside of the crystals to see if there could be a ghost phantom. Ron Coleman is known to produce ghost phantoms. So keep an eye out for that. At the end of this video, I will show you a ghost phantom that I found at Ron Coleman's. I came up to this pile and I noticed nobody has been here. It looked like that off packed down from the rain. Looks like some people have walked on it. They dug over there. And I noticed this cloth. This rag here was right there. So I started to dig here. And maybe it'll be a good pocket. Wow, check this one out. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is a good one right there. Yes. I knew I could smell them. Look at this one. Yes. All right, doing pretty good here. Can't wait to see this one cleaned up. This one here turned out really good. I wanted to bring it outside. It's a little windy, 
this would be a really good wire wrap. You could wire wrap this one here, hang that over a window. You'll see all the colors of the rainbow. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, let's get back at it. Come on, big one. Got a facet. That's just busted up. Dang. <clears throat> darn. Dang darn. Come on. I feel it. I can feel it. Okay, I need to get packing up. I thought I'd try to get some more digging in before they run me off and check this one out. Right at the end of the day, something told me if I keep digging, I'll get a good one. That's a good one. Something told me if I just keep digging, I'll finally get one. Nice. And here this one is cleaned in acid. Turned out to be a really nice crystal, and I noticed it's got a little bit of milky, and then it goes to clear, and then milky again. That's kind of unique, and it also rehealed on this end. Nice. Well, this trip I didn't score big like I did my last one, but that's how it goes here. Sometimes you're gonna find a lot of nice crystals and sometimes you'll just get a few looks like i had one of those days when i reach 15 total patrons for a full month i'll be giving away an arkansas diamond so if you're not a patron there's a link in the description below and yeah you can sign up and all donations will go towards my mining and helping me get out here and create videos for everybody to watch i just want to thank each and every one of my supporters thank you so much for the support I really appreciate it. It helps me get out here and keep filming and digging in the dirt. And I can't thank you all enough. Well, that's it for now from Ron Coleman Mining. I hope you all enjoy this video. Please help this video do well. Let's reach for 500 likes and I'll come back to Ron Coleman and spend more time trying to find those big crystals. here's the cluster that has a ghost phantom the larger point right here has a ghost phantom um, I took a safety meeting and looked down and there it was just laying on the ground inside you'll see the ghost phantom right there can you see that I didn't notice I had this ghost phantom until I got it cleaned in the acid. Let's see if we can get a closer look at it. Right there. Can y'all see that? That's a ghost phantom. It's like a crystal inside a crystal. Now I just need to get the Japanese law crystal and I'll be doing all right.